You ever seen a pigeon with two heads? Ever seen a monster that goes to school? And the scarier the better in the monster world, like the big-eyed one which is small and a bit cuddly. They don't look aggressive. They're the most unpopular. Monsters have to go to school at an early age. They don't learn languages and maths. Instead, they learn how to scare people. This day they came to visit the monster power company, but none of his classmates wanted to team up with him. Then he wanted to see how the monsters at the power company generated electricity. So Big Eyes sneaked through a portal to the human world. He got a close look at the power workers at work. It turns out that their job is to scare human children. The screams of the children would provide the monster world with plenty of power. Luckily, no accidents happened. He was back in the monster world, but his classmates accused him of being disruptive when the electricians gave him a hat and encouraged him. So he dreamed of becoming a member of the power company when he grew up. After five years of exams and three years of simulations, he finally got into Monsters University. On the first day, all sorts of monsters lined up to go to school. Of course, there were some late risers, like this snail. He he also met all kinds of monsters here. There were monsters that ate rubbish, monsters that make portals, and they're scare students. The one who scares the most is number one. That's when Greeny was late for class, because his father was a famous man in the monster world. So everyone wanted to make friends with him. Big Eyes knew he couldn't match his classmates' looks, so he made up for it with his expertise. So he became the last one in the class to study, because the mean dean had said, at the end of the semester, the monsters who couldn't scare people and the ones with the worst grades would be expelled. If you want to graduate, you have to learn to scare people. The exams were coming up soon. Big Eyes was confident, of course.